going on people it's the xbox 448 and guys i am going in on one of my favorite topics today which of course is halo now for people who follow my channel you know i believe halo 6 needs to come out in 2018 if they are gonna wipe the gamers mouths from that bad taste that a lot of people got from the the campaign of halo 5 or the multiplayer of halo 4 and they they want to you know take that great story from halo 4 and and the multiplayer from halo 5 slam it together into something truly special with halo 6 and, and i feel like they they have a certain time limit to do this and i believe it is 2018 now with that being said a bunch of people from 343 especially uh frank o'connor I, I believe kiki as well have come out and they stated that they heard the gamers out there and a lot of people were talking about with halo 5 that there was no split screen co-op or split screen multiplayer and you know when when the franchise first started the first halo came out that split screen was a huge huge part of the success of halo i mean they would have people would have land parties where you know you'd have four people on a screen and they would connect uh, the original og xboxes together to you know and, and other tvs and have a different four people on that screen and, and and so on and so on and they would have huge halo multiplayer parties so split screen you know at the grassroots level of the first halo was a very integral part of the game's success and i recognize that and i guess frank and kiki uh bonnie ross they feel the same way and they said from here on out halo 6 and beyond will have that split screen multiplayer now when they first said that i personally did, did not have an issue of the lack of split screen but i know a lot of people who did that when they first said that it brought me back to why they took away the split screen in the first place and they said it was to maintain a solid 60 frames per second um on the game when you were playing like online or whatnot and you know for people who don't know split screen you're supposed to be able to bring a couple people in with you go and play online you know warzone or whatnot um and, and go in that way and they said they, they took away the split screen so this way they could use kind of like that that memory to write in and make sure there was a solid 60 frames per second on your online multiplayer experience now when they stated that they will have split screen from halo 6 and beyond i thought to myself how the hell are they going to do that and still maintain the frame rate now for people who don't know uh halo 5 uses something called a dynamic resolution scaler and what that is is the game registers at 1080p but when there's a lot of things going on on screen and whatnot um the resolution is scaled down uh, to maintain that 60 frames per second in the game and and that's really what it's about when it comes to first person shooters you're looking for that 60 frames per second that is the fastest the smoothest on console now i wondered how the hell are they going to put split screen and still maintain that 60 frames per second and guys through my thinking i think i have come up with what they're gonna do i believe when halo 6 drops split screen is gonna be in on the disc or uh, you know digital download uh, actually because you download the patch and stuff the game all together with the patch and everything like that so not so much digital download but i'm talking to the people who have a physical disc because those are the people who are inherently you know possibly in need of a split screen right so physical disc split screen will be written on the disc and everything else uh when it comes to the multiplayer will will be a download so if you're looking forward to split screen right uh and you go and you buy the halo 6 disc you're gonna have split screen on the disc it's gonna download to your system now everything else when it comes to the online multiplayer will be in the day one patch i i feel like this is the right way to do this uh because first you're not constricted by you know how much room you have on the disc to write in absolutely everything for the multiplayer uh for a lot of people who are asking for split screen and don't have internet they don't necessarily need the day one patch to put in um uh, 
you know, absolutely everything they need for online multiplayer. Now, the maps and stuff like that, yes. Because, you know, when you have your split screen, you're going to take your friends into the, the multiplayer maps and, and go against them that way, right? Sharing one screen. But it, not everything needs to be loaded in and downloaded onto the system when it comes to multiplayer, especially the online features for people who don't have an internet connection. So you don't need that internet connection stuff, online feature stuff on the disc. I think they're gonna leave that out and they're gonna put in the, the split screen. Now with that being said, day one patch, the day one patch is probably gonna be very, very big. All right, I, I, that's what I see coming down the pipeline. Um, and then when it comes to that, uh, you know, it's going to utilize your hardware, the assets within your system that if you are using a split screen, possibly uh, the multiplayer will downscale on the resolution even further in order to maintain 60 frames per second. Uh, that's what I see happening when it comes to Halo 6 and the split screen. But as usual, guys, I want you to hit up the comment section. Uh, Knowing that they they kind of sacrificed the split screen in Halo 5 to maintain a solid 60 frames per second, have a 1080p dynamic resolution or whatnot, how do you think they're going to fit in the split screen now, you know, with Halo 6 and beyond? So hit up the comment section, let me know. Uh, not only that, if you like the topics, you like the gameplay, you guys know I am a huge Halo fan, especially the Halo 5 uh, multiplayer. If, if you like the gameplay, you like the topics, Definitely smack that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. But as for now, this is the Xbox 448. And I am definitely signing off.